Data science is a growing field. Just like Google it. You'll see that it's, look, the sexiest job in the world. Is that right? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. But still, this field is popping. Data science is a good industry to be in. It's, it's a job that'll make you money. And from a lot of these experts, they say it's a, one of the best jobs in America to have. So how do you become a data scientist? That's what we're going to talk about. I'm a data scientist. I just finished my master's in data science and now I have a job and that job title says data scientist. If I were to recommend people to become data scientists, I think there are three ways to go about it. One, you can go to school for data science, like I did. I think there are a couple of pro reasons to go to school because mainly you're working with people who are really smart, have professors that know really what they're talking about, kind of push you to reach your potential that you, at least for me, that I didn't think I could actually reach. Um, but when you're in the environment of a lot of people working very, very hard, it makes you want to work very hard too, just by being there. I went to the new college of Florida for their data science master's program. And this is just a plug. I liked it a lot. I think this program is really good. It's up and coming and it's not very well known. If you're looking to really kind of get into data science and want a pretty affordable master's program, check out New College of Florida. I will link it in the description below. But yeah, that's what I did and I think going to school is the best option. However, there are some drawbacks to going to school, mainly being that you might have to relocate and that costs money and it can be time consuming, although I think it's a good investment of your time if you want to become a data scientist because you will really be kind of thrown into the deep end and at the end of two years you'll have the skills to operate as a successful data scientist. Yeah, and if you're moving there too, you probably will, will have to spend a bunch of money to find a house or maybe take out some more student loans, stuff like that. So just factors to keep in mind when you go to school to become a data scientist. Two, you can do a data science like or even a data science bootcamp. There seem to be a ton of these out here. I don't know too much about these, but from the reviews, they definitely seem to work for some people. I have talked to some people who went down the bootcamp route and it seemed to have worked out for them. Both like, you know, you can do online boot camps and physical boot camps. Um, I'm not gonna talk about this too long because I think going to like an accredited university might be a better route to become a data scientist by really understanding the theory of how some of these models work and how these algorithms work rather than just the application side, which is from my investigations seems to be what boot camps do. They get you up to speed with applicably what is going on and the technologies you need to know, but they might skim across some of the, you know, under the hood details. But a pro for boot camps is they can definitely be cheaper than, you know, going back to school. You probably will not have to take out as much money or spend as much money to do a boot camp than have to if you went back to school. That's another thought. And this is more of a comment on the boot camp environment. There seem to be a lot of them. Like they seem to be popping up all over the place and I think that kind of makes the whole waters kind of murky because how it's, I don't know, it doesn't leave me with a good feeling. Um, and this is happening also in the university environment, but it seems to be more so in like the private bootcamp space that all these bootcamps are popping up here and there and they're pretty expensive. And there are not a lot of reviews on some of these newer bootcamps. Tread carefully if you decide to do bootcamps because It'd be pretty terrible to spend a whole bunch of money and then not really learn the skills you need to become a data scientist. Um, yeah, keep that in mind. Some boot camps seem to offer, you know, opportunities to pay back after you get a job. So that seems cool at first glance. I would just be hesitant about that because sometimes they can get you in funny ways. Like if you don't, you know, in their terms work hard enough to get a job, then they might just make you pay anyways. But yeah, there seem to be some companies that use that as a selling point where you don't have to pay for the bootcamp until you get a job. That seems cool, but almost too good to be true. So kind of take that with a grain of salt. 
I think when in doubt, boot camps are a good alternative if you don't want to really dive into the material and just kind of want to make the technologies work, understand what's going on at a higher level. Yeah, just be careful about which boot camp you go to because not all boot camps are the same. For three, you can kind of bootstrap your way to becoming a data scientist by teaching yourself these skills and creating a whole bunch of independent personal projects that could either A, lead to a business or lead to employment as a data scientist at some point. So I think the benefit to teaching yourself data science is that it's probably the cheapest. You don't have to spend too much money, but then again, you have to spend a lot of time focusing on these kind of skills that may be hard to pick up unless you're in a educational environment. I know for me, I think I could not teach myself all the skills to become a data scientist. I do best when I had kind of the structure of school to keep me focused. If I was left to my own devices, I definitely know my mind would wander. But maybe if you have good self-discipline, you can motivate yourself to, you know, go through all the edX classes and Coursera courses and come up with interesting independent projects like predicting basketball games using uh, neural nets or developing different machine learning components to to try to beat the betting odds. Some ideas that seem to be pretty popular right now. There's a whole bunch of you know starting code on GitHub and it's that you can take and kind of expand off of that idea. Those could be possible ideas to build projects. Yeah, this can be a pretty cool way to go about becoming a data scientist. And at least for me, it was kind of a step in the direction to how I became a data scientist. Um, I definitely did a lot of self-teaching before I went to my master's program. You know, things like edX and Coursera have a lot of really, really good courses. I would definitely take full advantage of that stuff. I know sometimes you might have to pay for stuff on Coursera. edX is really free and take advantage of that. Yeah, like if you want to learn Python, R, I think linear algebra as well, dive into that stuff. If you really go at this becoming a data scientist by teaching yourself these skills, I think it's definitely the hardest route to go about this, but it also could be the most rewarding as well. Like, for example, hear me out. Let's say you have built up enough of your you know, personal projects and you feel like you know enough stuff. You can offer to work for free. As not fun as that initially sounds, it could lead you to creating relationships with whatever business or client um, who accepts your offer to work for them for free to maybe later come on as a full-time data scientist. It could be a way to get your foot in the door. It could be a way to enhance your skills. It could be a way to work with other people who are smarter than you so you can learn from them. So I think uh, offering just your services um, for free or for a pretty low price could be a really good idea to get your skill set to the next level where you then can leverage that to you know, either start your own company or get full-time work as a data scientist. A big pro for this one of teaching yourself data science is it could be free. There are definitely, the resources are out there for you to teach yourself. And all the textbooks I used, I think more or less you could find the PDF version of them online. Not because I was doing some sort of like shady type stuff. No, like uh, they were open source textbooks. And I'll leave a link to a few of those textbooks below, I think. One was a time series textbook um, in R, and there's a machine learning textbook that is really good. I'm blanking on the name right now, but I will leave it in the description below. And definitely check it out. It's a pretty good intro to machine learning. I think it was taught by these professors at Stanford, and they had videos that went along with it, so they kind of would draw out representations of chapter by chapter, and for me, those videos were a wonderful way to understand the material a little bit better. Um, cool stuff, I will link those videos below. Oh, other thought on the new college of Florida. Um, a lot of the professors in the program there went to MIT and they're really, really smart. Like they're PhD guys in mathematics and they really know what they're talking about. And then there was this, this other very cool professor who was in finance for a while and worked for a bunch of big finance firms and he was really, really smart in terms of like knowing time series stuff, uh, machine learning. And it was really cool to be able to work with these people who are really, really smart people. Like, and they really know what they're talking about when it comes to these subjects. And it was very entertaining and fun. And I learned a ton by interacting with them in small class settings, which 
the new College of Florida's data science program does offer. Very small class setting. So you'll get to know people very well and that's another thing. I think when you like work together with a small group of people, you become, you know, friendly with these people and then I think it helps you learn more. You can pick up off of other people's strengths and kind of learn from your peers at the same time. If you're motivated by money, I'm not sure you should become a data scientist. I think you should become a salesperson instead. Overall, I'm pretty happy to be a data scientist. Um, the process of becoming it was long, hard, and I think I will keep evolving and developing as a data scientist in the future. So this is how you could become a data scientist. If you want to, check out the resources I kind of linked below. Um, and. Let me know what you think about different ways to become a data scientist because I think there are many ways to become a data scientist just like there are many ways to do a lot of things in today's day and age. Let me know your thoughts.